So the other day we went to my secret place with the green bin that gives us stuff for cheap and we recorded a whole video in the car and then found out that I didn't actually press the button and said record. Yeah, it's my fault. But we did do the, the thing where we got six videos each, so we'll, we'll just cut that now. But actually start recording. Okay. <laughs> So this thrift shop coming up, they do a thing, they got a whole bunch of VHS and they do a uh, six for five dollars. So I thought if we each take six, that's a loud truck, we each get six and then we can be like, look what I got. And yeah, I just, that's like a game, right? So we're going to try to play, you know, whatever. We can, we can find the better six. I guess. Sounds good. Great. All right, you got your six. What do you got? Got the, life, the dramatic story of life after Jesus. Life after Jesus. Yeah, dramatic. The spread of faith. Nice. I got the call of Cockaday. Oh my god, look at that cover. That's why I picked that one. That's I like amazing. That cover. I want that on a shirt. I got Discovering Italy. Oh, there it is. Just in case no one's uh, found it before. Uh, I have to go with animals you'll never forget. Oh wow, I haven't seen that video yeah. there, otherwise I would have remembered it. Yeah. Uh, Janice Robinson's wine course. Oh two wow. Two parts. Cool. She's going to teach you all about the wine. Nice. And scenic railway journeys of the world, because you need more things to do with trains. Okay. Well, here I'm going. And I'll show you what I got. First off, I got the Festival Nine Lessons and Carols King's College Choir. Ooh. I don't even know what that means. That's like <laughs> way too many words. That's a, that's a lot of words. That's a paragraph. Um, so I got Scenic Railway Journeys of the World. <laughs> oh, sweet. Is it a different one? Yeah, it's a red one instead of the green one. So it's got Ooh. two of them that go together. That's nice. You can, um, maybe the railways connect. Kiri. A 50th birthday celebration of her greatest hits. I don't mm. know who she is, but I like the, the portrait. <laughs> uh, spirituals in concert. Some more orchestra chorus and singing and stuff. I don't know, I went for music today. <laughs> um, I'll leave that one for last. Some Nick Faldo's Golf Course Volume 2. Yeah, you can get volume 1. <laughs> That's for hole in ones only. Uh, this one's for like pause and uh, other this things. One. Christian Lilies of the Field. Christmas Chris, Lilies. Christmas Lilies of the Field. But check out this cover. It's weird and interesting. I opened it. The yeah, it feels like a tapes, DVD type one. But it was uh, but it's it's right. It says FBI in big. And that is. That's my favorite piece. Nice. Do 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 do. Wait. Go in. What do we get from the place? Safe at casino. I got a bunch of these. Maybe I should wet type of one. It's the wet type. Just like it is outside. I should probably use one of these one day. I tried to dry catch one. We have one of them that actually has like balloons on it. Like when you put it in, it actually plays the video. Uh, John Wayne DVDs. No, oh, it's DVDs. We got a whole bunch of AFL stuff. Tim Watson. Oh, we'll see. Order. No, they're not really in much of an order, but I did put the, the AFL stuff together. Um, because these are cool. Uh, it says every team, every game, every week. This is a name a game video. This one is named uh, Magpies 2003 Round 5. Basically, you can send, you used to be able to send away four particular videos and they would um, send you the exact game that you wanted. Uh, just you do that. Now you just get used to it. Maybe. I don't know if they actually back them up like that. But I do. So I'll be putting it up. Um, there's another one down here that says Bombers Kangaroos 2001 round 16. So, hey! More VHS of. I don't know the sports. Like sports. 16 now, it sounds like a Yeah, it's further on in the year. Bomber Blitz 1993. Someone who died or got rid of their stuff was a Bomber's fan. They were Bomber's Blitz fan. Mm -hmm. This guy is mm -hmm. from the Essendon's Perry Banner. Yeah. 
A statistical history. This is a big looking case. A big case for a It's an official AF video. Oh. Uh, and then of course some heart stuffies. This one's got a sticker on it that says New Release Spawn. Must be recent. Because this sticker says so. More Essendon premieres. These ones are usually copyrighted to the point where we can't put them up. But it does have a clip stick. Uh, the greatest grand finals competition. See inside for details. Mind if I do? Ha! Details. It says I can put in order. Uh, more Essendon. It says 96. On a wave. What is this? This is a pre-season premiership, Grand Ole Manor, and Grand Final is reversing the season of the first Mala 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 Mala. Highlights. Highlights with special comments by Kevin Sheedy. That would be more interesting than actually just premieres and stuff. This one, must, they must have given them, to, given to them as a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. It's Gary Amlet from the cast. Cause he, cause probably because he lived in Geelong. Is it, are these the Eston's players? Oh, they are. So maybe somebody just saw that there was Eston players and went, Oh, I'll get that for John. Yeah. John loves Eston. And then John was like, uh, oh, that's not about my beloved bonds. No way. We've got some uh, cardboard containing uh, ones. Since the Cincinnati kid was raunchy and just got cards on it. And running scared with Billy Crystal. I like some Billy Crystals. And these ones yeah, are the picture on the left one is totally standard. Look at these blues and these are neither top nor bottom of those two. They've got the little caps on both ends. Oh. Oh, the son of Lassie. Like those are only two dogs that take Lassie. There's probably millions of them. Is, is this the one that pushed the, the, the robber up and painted pills? Who knows? Put on the one. One, one, of, one, of one of the good stuff. This we, we we had a look at this while we were doing it in the car. Costa <coughs> Brothers. These seem to be local musicians, and they've got videos of their performances. So there's a good chance that we should uh, reach out to them and talk to them. And inside the videos are signed. So these have to go to the top of the pile. The Costa Brothers. I'm gonna leave that out, actually. What's that? Jackie Trans. You yeah, listen to Hyena Part 2. Part 2? Oh. I don't know what happens first. Here we go. And then Jackie Chan's Dragon Fist. Dragon Fist, Jackie Chan. And then Fearless Hyena Part 1. Do we have to watch it in this order? Do I have to watch Fearless Hyena Part 1 first? These are from a collection that looks kind of cheap to me. If they made VHS? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. How to make an American quilt. I don't think that's actually a how-to video. Aww, oh, damn it. Just put a bunch of eagles and the flag on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one thing. It's a double pack Darling of the Darling Buds of Men. Season 2. Se series 2. Oh, I don't know what happened in Series 1. Fuck you, yeah. What's that? This one is... Bed knobs and broomsticks home recording. Ooh, home recording of bed knobs and broomsticks. Let's say bed knobs are. Sorry, Angela Lansbury. She wrote about this. Is this the last boom show of all? It's the last of all. So they, they used to be a uh, radio commentary team or comedian team. Uh, and then it has Peter Sellers, who was the original Pink Panther. Ooh. Um, and all, all of those guys were like legends of that comedy back in the. It might be a cinema watch or something. Dragon Ball Git. Dragon Ball Git. I like the uh, sticker on the back. Video Man. Oh no, the one on the front says video name as well. Four dollars forty. Oh no. Okay. That's these are pretty cool these because they not only were they X fires that say please return, but they Jesus, look at the colour on that thing. 
please return by 6 p.m. That's a cool sticker. <laughs> I want that. You got that? Yeah, but I want it like on a t-shirt or something. That was episode one, I think. Episode one. And this is five? Or this six? is the lost episode. The lost episodes. Oh, we oh, found them. We found them. That's good. Take that. Lost episodes. And then the movie. And then the movie, The Hero's Legacy. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, Glenn Miller's story? Uh, is that a documentary? I don't know who Glenn Miller is, but when I finish watching this, you'll know. You'll know all about it. Those damn busters. Oh, only $9.95 recommended retail price. And then the sticker says, yes, indeed, we will charge $9.95 for it. Damn, busters. Oh, Why didn't you grab this one? Why did I? <laughs> no, it came in the box, but it's got butts on it. Radio inside. I think that one did come in the box. Didn't it? I oh. it came from the other place we stopped at. I mean, we stopped at another place and got like two or three. Yeah, yeah. And I think that was I, one of them. Yeah, I got this one because it had a butt on it. <laughs> and it's big case. Whoa, look how cheap that sticker is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't remember which one we grabbed at that other place, so what's all in the same? Um, uh, hang on. These two might want to grab them. Okay, so we'll check about that. I've taken it out and they'll let me go back in. The war wagon? The wagon of war? Some more. That's John Wayne, oh, but he's not on DVD. It's on the DVD. Found him? Yeah, I found him. I found him. I found him. Free hardback storybook personal stickers worth $1.16 with every purchase. It comes with a hard back, is it in there? Yeah. No, it's not. No, we have to ask for it. Uh, is it just there? Is this tape heavy? Ooh, yeah, it's heavy. This is a heavy case. This is, um, Gone with the Wind, first off. And let's see, why is the actual tape itself this heavy? It's one of the old, good quality ones. It's got some protection, shiny stickers on the corner. I think it's just the better quality tape. Um, MGM home video, there's nothing strange except for the fact. Uh, so that security sticker. So, uh, if I take it apart, then it won't be secure anymore. Also, whoever had this video last watched it all the way to the end. That's they didn't the be kind? They did not be kind, they did not rewind. Uh, this is another home recording. It used to be Star Wars, but then as the natural progression goes, it's now a bug's life. Well, Disney and Pixar it's all, and Star Wars, so it's all good. I like home recording. I wonder if we'll find any maybe there's cool Maybe there'll be uh, elements of Star Wars left. Maybe it'll like... Is Star Wars back longer than a bug's life? A long time. Uh, maybe, but yeah, this one's being rewound a little bit, but not all the way. to see where they stopped. And thought, nah, that's enough. Or maybe it's been this watched over again. You can catch up on your Darling Buds of May. Ah, oh, double pack Darling Buds of May. Is that the actual volume one or is it volume three? It does not say what volume, so I assume that it's volume one. Uh, part two. Uh, part one. So I assume this is the first one. It's over 300 minutes. Over 300 minutes. Five hours. If we count the minutes. Oh, Mr. Oh, Mr. HSL Sports. Over 400 games from 1961 onwards. Oh, this is another name again, game paper. This yeah. is one of the older covers and not specific to the Bombers. And this game that they named was Essendon Defe Defeating Geelong in 1993, round six games. See. Spoilers! <laughs> I think that's the one where the Gary Apple picture was taken. Maybe, but they've obviously sent um, like a blank tape and they have to, to name it because it's then got Essendon versus Geelong and then it's been scribbled out and they've taped over it with Richmond versus Essendon. Oh no, they'll never have the name again that they name. But in here, 
is the name of game catalog that we can name the game. Like we don't. We send away for it. Do we send away for a game? We'll get this one again. <laughs> the one that brings a rich one. Let's be honest. Yeah, take the other Please have back these. And the sky for limit. Classic. Uh, musical. This is from that uh, company that there's a whole bunch over at the trash heap near your place. Yeah. And then you can go down the periscope. Ah, oh, with Kelsey Grandma. Cheers. Sleep with some Seattle. Uh, you've had me at Tom Hanks. <laughs> Dr. Shabago, what's the uh, gifts for mum? Dr. Shabago, mum for the life movie. Gifts for mum, three VHS for $40. Yes. And you can win over 2,000 prizes. It's ticking, man. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we can't watch this movie. This has been watched in the sun or something. Or next to a candle and it's walking. Check that out. Holy shit. Definitely. I'll I try guess to play it. I do have a uh, second. I can take the tape out. Watch it. Nah, just gonna count on that. Dan Kay and Hans Christian Anderson. Hans Christian Anderson. I love it. Thank you. We watched him like most Christmases. Been the dramatic story of life after Jesus. No, after Jesus. Yeah. That's the dramatic part. Triumph, Christianity. Read, read his digest, Jesus. Movies. There's like a million parts of it. Just stitch the movie. Stitch the movie. This is before he was with Lilo, right? Uh, actually, it's after, but even though it's not Lilo who stitched the movie, it's Stitch the movie. Yeah, Disney films. Off the bones. And another finish with one. Uh, play. Misty for me. I had Zephyrus Pokemon Anderson. Yeah, dress up for me as Misty. Put on those tight short shorts. The big sky. It's an incredible doubles. RKO film. Yeah. Right here, what looks finished. Not that RKO. At first, I thought that it said my bulimic career, but it's my brownie career. The, the cover and everything looks kind of like it should be a porno, but it's actually got Sam Neill in it, and it's an Australian film. You can tell by the colour picture. But you can't rule out that it's not a porno. Well, Apart from the fact that it's very really cheap. Well, I haven't seen it, so... <laughs> Maybe they were, they were a lot more lax with the ratings back then. Maybe there was a bunch of G-rated porno starring Sam Neill. <laughs> um, well, if you remember Ooh. Johnson singing, you know, Johnson sings again. But Johnson sings again. What is that? Johnson? Johnson. Is it Al Johnson? No, I don't know, but it's his home record. You might have some, some news show stuff. Yeah. 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 Al Johnson was the dude who did the black text very famously back when it was yeah. somehow acceptable. Yeah. This is one of those covers that instead of being made out of cardboard, it's <coughs> made out of wrapped in plastic? Yeah, it's all dead. Cartoon favorites, volume one. You can have any volume ones made out of these and it's not the same bunch of cartoons. <laughs> it's like those um, knockoff uh, toy sets that you find where yeah. it's like the superhero of friends and then it's like Superman, a Power Ranger, Donatello. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's 100% like that, but it's instead of being bootleg, like knockoffs. It's just the cartoons put on video illegally, or maybe like some illegally or something. Because it's the actual Bugs Bunnies. The House of Bolger. Bolger? This is the one where the, the sporting stars do a soap opera. Oh, sporting stars do a soap opera. Great, that sounds like a terrible, <coughs> terrible mess. We're going to have to watch this. Maybe this will be a similar show. Oh, it's a comedy cartoon. Comedy cartoon. Paris. 
Oh, in Paris. Paris. That must be who owned it. Yeah. Seven movies. Seven movies. What movies? We got Toy Story, 80 Good. minutes. We got Toy Story 2, 94 minutes. We got Ants, 80 minutes. Mm. We got Stuart Little at 81 minutes. Right. We got Muppets from Space, also 81 minutes. Mm -hmm. We got Rocky and Bullwinkle, uh, 88 minutes. That trick never works. And we got My Favorite Martian at 90 minutes. Which one's that? Uh, Martian Manhunter. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's cool. What did it used to say? Oh, I say My Favorite Martian. Interesting. So the Rock, Rocky and Bullwinkle used to be something else. Liquid Paper Dover? Yeah. What's the bet that that's just porn? For Paris. For Paris. It's one night in Paris oh, for seven hours. That's what it is. Is this like meant to be that long of a... Oh, it also says... Uazi, Australian Institute of Sport. Oh. For every oh. tape sold, somebody gets to go to athletes. Uh, Runtime five <coughs> hours. Yeah, so they just put it in double time to make it ten hours, and it's fine. Your purchase of this quality Australian-made product will help support the athletes at the Australian Institute of Sport. That's an interesting. Uh, hey. Got more trains, the scenic railway journeys of the world. Okay. It's got such scenic places as Egypt, India, China, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, and Australia. So places in the world. Yeah. Huh. I think you'll be happy you got more trains. It doesn't have a picture of a train on it though, that's making me like the um uh, oh, oh, some windows on the map. Part of a train. Part of a train. And then we have Costa Brothers, this time they're live in Mildura. Live in Mildura, that's the most, like, you know you've made it when you get to play live in Mildura. Look at that set though, it looks like they're between two ferns on a public access show. This probably is, or was played on that Channel 31 public access at one point. Maybe not, maybe they couldn't even get on there. <laughs> but, they, got, uh, they got VHS crack. Okay, so they've got a printed spine, right? But they've obviously like printed it themselves because they've included the spine sticker. <laughs> well, not the quality. Yeah, I mean if this one doesn't look such a, a low quality one. That one does. And where they lied to um, This time they just lied in the country. Which country? Somewhere. Just this, the country. The country. And it features such classic songs as World's Greatest Mum. Unchained Melody, Amazing Grace, Crystal Chandeliers, Some Days Are Diamonds, and Cheryl Mona Marie. Oh yeah, you didn't actually read the titles of the songs. Most of them are going to be covers. Oh, Country on the Murray is this one. This one's on the Murray River. And they play, I'm just going to see if I find them. Funny one says Margaritaville. I've never been there. Oh, is that a... Oh, this one's got a bonus track. Oh, how is it bonus if we didn't even know how many tracks in the first place? Um, Me and Bobby McGee. I think it's because they tell us that it has 16 great tracks, and then the but then there's a 17 bonus oh, track. Ooh, that's, that's not great. great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, bonus. there's quotation marks around live. Who said live? Is that because they're, it's a recording, it's on VHS, that's so right. it's not actually live anymore? Or they're quoting somebody. Somebody said live. Someone said country. Someone said live at some point, and they're like, oh, we're going to use that. Yeah. Uh, she talks dirty in Spanish. Leave him in the long yard. Uh, beautiful body. Blue eyes crying in the rain. Vertical expression. Oh, no. Sounds like a wrestling move. Sounds like a term for a vagina. So does Kanamala Fella. Okay, that's right. Chuck 3. Probably kind of fella. Probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So you might have to pick that one out. <laughs> That's enough playing with thanks. Be kind, rewind. Uh...